All right, take one, part three of uh, tribe forcing and damage routing. So something I didn't mention earlier was that you can combine... We talked about split protection and how it can help uh, reinforce the uh, dimensions of your bot that are longer than others, where you might be split easily. So we have a wrapped rod that goes from two ends, one to the other. So now the problem with this is that this might be the front of your bot. And if this is the front of your bot, it's going to get shot off, and then you no longer have the benefit of this connection running from front to back, right? Some might argue you don't need that, but you do want to preserve these as long as possible, right? So if this gets broken off, then you're, you lose the benefit of your split protection. So we talked about dual mounts previously. So you can combine these two ideas, and this, this is once again something you have to make a, a careful decision to invest into, but say you want to preserve your dual mount or your lines for as long as possible, you can have a simple dual mount coming off at either end of these, and now, if this is the front of your bot, and this is the back of your bot, I mean, it doesn't have to, this is just, to, so damage would have to flow around to these points, um, and then if any one point is destroyed, so if this bit here is um, destroyed, then you still have one side, the other side holding up your, your two ends. And if both ends are destroyed, then that means that the whole front of your bot is gone and you no longer need the split protection because there's nothing there to connect to. So the thing is though, is this takes a lot of volume. So we're talking for just one set of split protection, which is just a single set of rods, um, you're now requiring another 12 blocks of volume on, you know, for, with counting the blocks on both ends, if you do three long lines, right, in order to, to set this up. So a lot of people will elect just to have multiple sets of split protection, um, so several connections front to back, and a lot of people don't even have volume for that, um, especially if you're doing hovers or other things. So let's talk about hovers. So I'm going to do a quick hover setup just because it tends to be the kind of gateway to learning how to use this stuff. And hovers are a great backup movement part. People use them with sprinters, people use them as backup movement parts in copters and mechs. Your hovers are an easily encasable, small volume, uh, redundant backup movement part. So, But let's set up like a full hover because I've heard a lot of people uh, complaining about hover setups and how difficult they are. So let's, let's do something kind of small. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, doing this. But uh, let's do... Let's go for like... Maybe... I don't know, seven? Maybe... Yeah, nine's good. Uh, these are a little close together for what I would want uh, if I were using nine. But, so the, the idea here is just that you would want a majority of your mass below a majority of your hovers. So this would be a, this could be five blocks tall, right? So this is your, your height here. And um, your hovers are, a majority of your hovers, so you have your four and then your three here, all above the center plane, so more above than below. And also, they're spread out in a way that any three remaining hovers will make a nice, stable platform. So the center of the hover is the point where it provides stability. And or you can you can kind of think of it as like the legs of a table. So ideally, you'd want to kind of pick any three of these hovers, and they should make a nice triangle. So maybe, maybe we would want to move these out a little bit more like that. Right? So now that makes a triangle, this makes a triangle this makes a triangle, so on and so forth. So now how would we uh, route this, right? This is actually a pretty low volume setup. So uh, it's, I, I usually deal with stuff that's a little bit bigger. But we could do like those rod mounts like we were talking about before, where it's a hybrid uh, rod mount and uh, uh, dual mount, right? So that would go, I don't know, here. And then the second connection would go to the front, 
which you could do any which way you pleased. Um, maybe just have this go to the front here, and then you have your connection here. That one, it's one of those necks about placement. It doesn't like to go the other way. Uh, and then you could have this one go, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's use the rod wrap to make our mount go over here. You know what, let's go for two long lines. I don't, I feel like, uh, since this is so small, uh, maybe we're making it out of TX, right? So let's go with line length of two. So we want to try and get our connections as far away from one another as possible. Uh, maybe we'll have this go to the top. And then that goes back here. Well, yeah, maybe we could run it to the front. That one's already kind of there, though. Maybe we'd kind of have these switcherood. Yeah, maybe it's like this. And then these go down to the front. And then this one goes up and over like that. So that would be attaching here. This would be attaching here. Uh, maybe we would force away from this. Oh, maybe we need to go one more down, actually. I don't know. And then this one can go... Eh, let's go f f towards the front. So this way. Right. And then it has to go back somewhere. So it's going to be going... Uh, let's go just towards right towards the back. Right? And then this one would be going... Actually, hey, let's make this one go out towards the side. So like this. This is just so that I can uh, force it away here, right? So this is forced away. Oops. And since we were talking about uh, damage sinks, actually, hang on. Let's 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 make these a, a sink. So I don't know what's a what's a good thing to use. Man, yeah, let's let's use those. Um, Let's use those struts like we were talking about. And we don't want to have them connected, so maybe... Mm, nope, not quite. Uh... See, so we're getting to the point where I'm going to run into volume issues trying to resolve this problem here. Maybe it would be down. Something like that, I guess. Uh, you don't, you don't want to take up too much volume here, but... Uh, yeah, actually, let's worry about that later. So this would connect... here, these would connect there, that would connect there, this connects here, this connects here. These would connect. Uh, here's a good spot. It's naturally separated by the hover in the middle. These are kind of close, but not really. And then uh, the bottom one could drop down and maybe go, I don't know, here. And then this one could drop and go here. Or here. Or we could have it run out the back. Maybe, yeah. So here, here, here. And then uh, where would the other one go? Actually, hang on. Now that we have that there, we can uh, just twist this the other way. I guess that can go there. Yeah, here and there. That's good. And then uh, these can go... Uh, I don't know. Let's have these go... Hmm. No, those are kind of close. This is probably good. Oops. And then... Uh, let's see, do we want to have... One, two... Three? Or, well, one, two, and then connection? Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright, so, in case this isn't very clear... Um, let's make this a little more obvious. So I'm going to have the mount blocks in glass, wherever that is now. Aha. 
So that would be a mount there. These would be mounts here. These are, these are where they terminate and where it, it attaches to the body, so it would be block spam. So these are the only connection points for your hovers in this instance. And you're going to notice as I start putting these in that they're very spread out. And maybe these two are a little too close. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could have this go down. Down here. I don't think those are near anything. Yeah, that would work. So, now uh, we would want to only connect these parts to the body of our bot using the glass cubes, right? So, and each one of these lines would be... Now, where do these go? I actually haven't figured out what I want to do with these yet. So that, that would technically be one, two long, since we're doing two long lines. If it were three li long lines, I would probably have another block. Um, but just, just this going straight to here. And this would also technically be a point where your mount is ending. So maybe I would have this attach here. And maybe I'd have this go... I don't know which one I want it to be further from here. Actually, what we had before I think was pretty good. Yeah, one, two... Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter either way. Because it's still having to go around. So the other thing about this is... So we're, we're trying to split them high and low. So I try to mix high and low attachment points. And then also have them far from one another. So you're not losing multiple lines at the same time. So then we would just wrap this up. So I suppose we could... So we do have to worry about... So the next thing is, before you start filling in any blocks on your bot body, you probably are going to want to make sure that you're not attaching on any of these lines. And we're going to paint them. So we know absolutely sure. We're going to paint them bright red. So we know not to attach. They're actually yellow. So um, even more frighteningly eye-melting color. Good so we wouldn't want to attach. And we're going to do black for the body, just for contrast, right? So we do not want to attach here, and we do not want to attach here. And that covers that, because the this doesn't attach anywhere else. And then we also do not want to attach here, although that's... So... Uh, black. And then it doesn't attach down. So if you want to maximize your connection points, Things that don't already or that already don't attach, you just can sacrifice the connection to that point because you want as much connectivity as possible. So in other words, I'll have this sloping down like that. And since this doesn't connect up anyway, I'm still using as many connections on this block as possible while forcing away from the part that I want to preserve. So those are all set. Um, let's see. Uh, we don't want to connect here. I should have done that the other way. Oh well. I don't want to connect there. We don't want to connect here, and also not there. So that, well, eh, mm. well, okay, so here's another example. This one is already not connecting from here to here, so we can turn this the other way. And then, uh, oh, I'm going to take a phone call, so I'll cut this part short, but I'll come right back.